Welcome back to another video of Cloud Insights. In this video, we are going to see what is Transit Gateway in AWS and how does it work. And I'm, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration how to create it and, and attach it with VPCs. Transit Gateway is a layer three uh, router. Uh, it's a service that comes with VPC in AWS using which you can connect a site-to-site -site VPN to your cloud infrastructure VPC. You can connect VPN gateway. You can connect AWS Direct Connect where uh, when we have a hybrid model where you want to have connectivity between your on-premises and cloud infrastructure, AWS Direct Connect is one of the solution. And when you are going to use AWS Direct Connect and AWS Transit Gateway is the right solution to establish the connection between. So, uh, and also it supports the SD WAN, and you can also connect uh, in another AWS Transit Gateway using pairing connection. Right. In the last video, I have shown you uh, how to connect two uh, VPCs in the same region and establish connection between those two by creating a VPC pairing connection. So this is the setup that I'm going to use to save our time. What I have already done is that I've created uh, two VPCs. Uh, again, I'm calling it as a management VPC and a production VPC, and both will have a different IPC, a different uh, cider blocks. In between, we are going to create a transit gateway and connect the workloads from one VPC to another. Okay, let's see about that. As you see, I have two VPCs created already, and the cider block is completely different. And in the management VPC, I have one. In the management VPC, I have created the jump server, and it has a public IP. And the management VPC have a connection to internet gateway. Through that, I'm, I'm, I will be able to RDP into that machine. And I have already taken it, right? So this is the private IP of the uh, easy to instance, which is located in the production VPC. And let's see if we are, uh, whether we are able to connect it's likely to fail because uh, we haven't created any routes in between because uh, now both the VPCs are completely isolated. There is no connection in between. There is no route established in between. Let's create transit gateway. Let's create transit gateway, call it as uh, demo transit gateway 01 configure the transit gateway uh, in this section we have ace and it is asking for ace and number what is is that it's a aws side of uh, a protocol it equal to bgp uh, which would help us to automatically propagate the network routes when when we attach these uh, gateways with other uh, vpcs so by default, you can uh, pick any number between these two. So I'm going to pick uh, the number. This is an optional one. Even if you leave it blank, uh, it automatically picks one and assigns by itself. And I'm leaving everything default. I'm not enabling multicast support. Now I'm going to leave the cross account sharing option because uh, I'll make another video to dem demonstrate this one. Now, transit gateway CAD block, it's an optional one, but you can always uh, assign a, a small range of CIDR that belongs to the transit gateway. Okay, uh, let's call it as maybe 20. Not zero, no. 20. Zero slash twenty four and create transit gateway. 
it takes a bit of time like uh, two to three minutes to get it created till the time the state says pending the moment it gets created changes to active now let's click on the other options in the transit gateways the moment we create a transit gateway uh, like vpc uh, by default there is a route table created and this is where uh, we will be updating all the routes and we haven't created any attachments yet we will meanwhile i'll pause the video until it comes active yes now now it is available next we need to attach this transit gateway to the vpcs let's do that transit gateway attachment create transit gateway attachment and what what are we going to uh, attach here with the transit gateway uh, we are going to attach our management vpc attachment the transit gateway we have only one transit gateway so this i'm selecting this and attachment type you can see that uh, you know what are all the types of attachment you can create mm, the vpc and the vpn pairing connection of not the vpc pairing but uh, the pairing pairing of uh, transit gateway itself and the direct connect so um, let's choose vpc in this video we are going to see only about uh, connecting vpcs and i'm leaving the vpc attachment to default dns support and select the vpc id management vpc and the moment we select the vpc it automatically propagates uh, its subnets which un which is under the vpc the moment you create a subnet in the particular vpc it will be reflected uh, but when when we create an attachment the subnet has to be created already to be reflected here create transit gateway attachment now it's done now let's quickly attach the production fraud vpc attachment 01 vpc and select fraud vpc and create So both attachment are pending. Um, once it's uh, active, uh, let's take a look at the route table. All right, the attachments are showing active, available. Let's go to route table of the transit gateway and click on associations. And you see the association reflected here and see the propagations. Uh, it is enabled and because of this uh, we are able to see the subnets of each vpc that we have attached right let's see whether we have routes enabled yes uh, the automatically propagated uh, attachment the moment we attach it the propagations uh, updated the routes here now is it done can the VPCs can uh, communicate to each other? No, not yet, because we have done only the configuration only at the transit gateway end. Now we need to instruct the VPC to reach out the transit gateway for uh, you know particular uh, network range uh, communication. Let's do that. First, I'm going to edit the route table of the management VPC. Route table and click route and it has a route to only to the local and internet gateway and add edit add route and the cider range of production VPC. And 
what should be the target where the network packet has to be uh, routed it has to be transferred gateway and you see this vpc is attached to the transit gateway right that attachment is what uh, showing up here so we are selecting this attachment save changes let's quickly do the same for production vpc route table and routes yes in this 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 is a production vpc obviously you know um, there is no route enabled to the internet gateway this vpc is not attached with any internet uh, gateway so edit route add route now we are going to attach management vpc route here and select transit gateway attachment of production vpc save changes done okay now let's go to the jump server which i have already connected because uh, it's connected to internet now this is the private ip of and uh, this is the private ip of the ec2 which is running in the production environment click connect it is asking for the credential now which means the network connection between two vpcs working so whatever the configuration that we have done in the transit gateway now which is working all right this is it now we are able to connect to the instant instances resources uh, from one vpc to another vpc using transit gateway routes okay all right this is what we have done just to summarize quickly two vpcs two different networks and obviously both can communicate to each other because uh, there is no such routes um so we create a transit gateway and attached both the vpcs into transit gateway in the name of uh, transit gateway attachments first uh, while doing it what happened automatically the transit gateway propagated the routes to each of the subnet uh, in both the vpcs okay and after that what we have uh, done is that we have updated the routes of both the vpc and create the route to uh, each of the vpc via transit gateway attachment right that helped us to communicate from here our rdp session was here and using the private ip we are able to connect to this machine here through the transit gateway and all the transit gateway communication it's all ha happening over aws private network and uh, that is why it is so efficient hope you have understood have a little bit of idea what is transit gateway and how does it work thank you for watching subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you